Okay, uh, let's see. So we are oh, not clicked into the game. I was wondering. It's like, wait, we're not moving. There we go. Now I'm moving. Oh, my hoarder cave. Actually, is a lot easier to get out of than I thought it was going to be. That's nice. Uh, where am I? Oh, we just got off the dock. Oh, but there's this whole, like, building thing here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna drag this for a second. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if it's full steam ahead, but it looks like I'm supposed to go up. So I figured I'd just drag it for a bit. Yeah, because it looks like there's a whole thing up there. I could be wrong. We'll see. But no, I was right. Or at least it looks like I'm marginally right here. This looks really goofy, by the way. I assume I m might actually have to drive this over the bump. Man, your character is really strong. I know. I. Jeez. Okay, I gotta turn down my volume. No, we can't do that. I guess I should hit the brakes before I just waste a bunch of fuel. Okay, so baseline, I can't go over that, period. Um. Kind of looks like I'm supposed to go up? I'm not, I'm not actually sure about this one. Because there's that whole area up there. Nope. Maybe I have to... Yeah, too slow. Maybe I, I do have to take it at some speed. So me, me towing this... was actually a bad move. Well, back we go. I don't know. Let's try a full wheels revolution, maybe? Yeah, I should not have towed this. Why they put a speed bump there, I don't know, but it offends me a little bit. Because it means I have... I pay for my mistakes, I guess. Okay. It's leveling out, so this is probably far enough. Yeah, I don't think I went over this bump last night. I think I got off the ferry and immediately stopped. Okay, and we didn't take damage? Uh, oh, I see, we're supposed to go over it. I was like, wait a second, that didn't go down all the way, but the answer is no, it's not supposed to go all the way down. The amount of abuse this poor vehicle goes through, because we can't, we have to bonk, bonk into things, is just kind of a shame. You never actually have to tow the ship. No, I know you never actually have to tow the ship. Um, I just like towing the ship. Hey, new wheels! Like, I really like... <sighs> I really like towing the ship because it's just kind of cool. Wait a second. I gotta take the other ones off first. Probably. Because I don't think we're just adding them. Yeah, thought so. So 
So I guess I did do the for, uh, the right thing the first time around. It's incredible that all this still works. It's also kind of interesting that all the tech is, you know, standardized for some reason. I mean, mostly for my own convenience. I kind of wish you could actually see... So Dark Souls kind of does this. Sort of. It pretends it does this. In Dark Souls, you can see other players that have... Um, or, you know, it's kind of the other hollows that you run into. It's implied that you're seeing, uh, you know, other people that have fallen along the wayside. And I kind of wish um, more games would do that. Just include, like, the occasional NPC that is implied to be kind of your predecessor. Uh, so, like, it would be kind of neat if, like, if, say, somebody had stopped playing the game for longer than a day... It would kind of mark that as they give up, gave up and kind of had it as a, like, they crashed here kind of thing. Um, and so you can see rusted out hulks of this. Uh, of, of these, these, you know, whales. Because I think that would be really, really cool as like a uh, a visual thing. Because like you can see rusted up boats and stuff. But I would love to see like kind of the invocation that there's other players here too. There don't ha there doesn't have to be. Uh, you know what? Let's keep this here. Let's use one of the fuel barrels. Because I'm stuck here. Whoops. That is, like, the absolute worst time for that. Let's see. You will see rusted out versions of these. I'm sure I will, but, like, I, I think it would be so cool if it actually based it based off of, like, um... You know, other players' progression. Because I think it would be so sick to have, like, you know, indications like, somebody failed here. Even if that would be a little grim. At times. Okay. I'll have to figure out what to do with this in a second. Uh, I've got another lantern. Wasn't expecting to get another lantern. No. Well, into the inevitable pile of shit. What is this? This looks like fuel. I'm just gonna put it here. Okay. Not sure how this is. I'm not actually sure what's up with the uh, with this boat thing. Because we're supposed to go, but I can't. Unless I am supposed to, like, ram into it. Oh, that isn't helping. See like a release. I'm not 
Okay. This is weird. Maybe it was too far forward? Enough to put the brake down? Got oh there it is. We just had to wait. Or well the there's the wind. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I just had to reset the sails for some reason. That was weird. I was like, I, I feel like I'm supposed to do something here. I, I guess I must have just run into a bug. I don't know. Not a big deal. Oh, I love the soundtrack for this game. I'm probably going to go buy it after I'm done, done beating it. I guess the game wasn't expecting the sales to be up already. Which is silly, because I was expecting to be using, utilizing wind power way more for this game than I have. I guess while we're here... Because, yeah, for me, I'm much more interested in, in wind power than using, like, the fuel, uh, fuel system. Because I think, I think it would be so rad if this this game was about, like, um, managing wind, like, when and where, and you're kind of just coasting along looking at things. Um, but I also kind of understand why. Because for me, this is so much more satis satisfying, relaxing. Um, this is so much more relaxing to just not have to be constantly cycling fuel systems in favor of, like... Sail, uh, you know, wind power. Yeah. Microphone is. The devs actually focus more on the sailing. Really? Because for me, it really does feel like the uh, fuel management was the. It really does feel like fuel management is the. Is the crux of the gameplay, and the sailing, like, you only sail occasionally. What kind of weird rusted out hulk are we looking at now? There's a bunch of scaffolding going up and some chimney stacks. It's interesting that we've actually got a decent amount of flood uh flood water here. But it's kind of low land. It's creepy though. All of this is super creepy. Like, uh, I wish I could actually finish my what does that say? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, wait, no. Henderson and Sons. It, I was told to look for Henderson and Sons. It's just hard to read. But is one of those... Oh, there's a boat. I was like, is one of these busted? But no, it's a little toy boat. Hendrickson, not Henderson. Fair enough. Probably switch out the super explosive canister just for the sake of not having, um,
Oh, my sails are working real hard against me. I'll pull forward a bit. We'll go reset them quick. We got some momentum. Yeah, because we are we are sailing backwards. And that's not acceptable. That's not convenient. I was actually talking to one of my YouTuber buddies. And he apparently ran out of fuel fairly early on in the game and was having like serious problems with like managing steam. I don't I don't actually know why. Uh yeah, last time I last time I tried towing this, it wor it worked poorly. But yeah, so he ran out of uh, he ran out of fuel and had to like tow his ship for about half an hour to get to the next location, uh, while it was like busted and burning. Well, that didn't work so hot. Uh, can I get out there? I'm not entirely sure if I can move that. No, okay. So I have to do something. That much is obvious. Unless I'm supposed to ram this repeatedly. I don't see any other locations to go for. So yeah, it really does look like I have to ram it again. Why can't we go around it? Let's see, with steam this time. I popped steam at the end, but yeah. We'll just try it again. I do wish that there was more of a soundtrack during these quiet moments. If anything, to me, it's more valuable to have it, you know, now than later. When it's so quiet like this, I, I could use something somber. To kind of keep me, not to keep me going, but to keep me energized. When it gets like super, super quiet, it's... It's easy to just kind of get lost. Maybe in the task, but it would be nice to have the accompaniment of a little bit of music. Doesn't even need to be much. What's the other one? There we go. That was creepy. Well, we're out of juice for a second. I don't like this music at all. Oh, I don't like this music at all. Okay. I don't like this music, I don't like these sounds, and it's time to go. We don't have any... Oh, good. Shit's on fire. I don't know how much I have to worry about here. I mean, luckily the steam isn't screwing me over too much. Oh, I accidentally super pushed the... Alright, this is a pain in the ass. 
I'm doing this by hand. Oh, jeez. This is really... Everything is on fire. At least the fuel doesn't explode. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, everything, everything but the fuel dispensary is busted. Well, we'll see. Also, the giant derelict back there had eight legs. Oh, that's, that's real good. Oh, no, wrong one. Well, I guess I'm going to grab the fuel while we're here. I accidentally wasted some in my efforts to put out the fire. Uh, whoops. Okay. I'm really glad they gave us the ability to repair ourselves. If I had to actually, like, manage re resources to fix shit. Oh, I do. You can't fix shit if you're uh, out of energy. That's good to know. And the fuel can catch fire. Oh, freaking great. I'm real glad it doesn't catch fire quick. Because that would suck. Okay. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's worth repairing my sails right now. I'm just going to leave them broken. Okay. Well, we've pretty much got all the fuel I can work with right now. Let's just, uh, let's just hope the next stretch is easier. Oh. There's no... There's no more hail. Okay. Well, I guess we're just out here. I guess this works. Takes a while to fix these. Okay, there we go. And let's try again. Let's see. Fortunately, the... Yeah, I don't have much fuel left. Well, I do. Damn it. I guess honestly, this is fine. How do we do this one? I guess I have to pop over, don't I? Um, you know what? I'm trying to conserve as many of these barrels as possible. Without setting anything on fire. The big explodey ones are the scariest. Okay, I assume I hop over. Be pretty bad if I didn't, if I wasn't supposed to do this. Oh yeah, there's an elevator here. I didn't. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay, gotta find something with that. Can I push the cart back? Okay, there we go. Nope, too far. Okay. We're in a foundry. I am 
curious. Why would I need to do any of this? Nothing's broken. I guess unless it has something to do with this section over here. Oh, I need the minecart. Okay. Usually with these, it comes with an upgrade for the, uh... For the boat. Oh, this thing doesn't have momentum. I was really hoping I could just kind of push it and ride it. My hand's kind of achy, so I was hoping I could just relax. Oh. I guess the answer is no. Let me go. Let me go. Oh. This goes up. This seems really wasteful. Let me go. I got shit to do. Hey, another customary barrel of appreciation. see. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pop this here. Put the danger barrel over here. The further I can put the danger barrels from my from my fuel injector system, the better. Because I, uh, I guess I'll just pull it the rest of the way. Nope. Guess I'm not going to pull it the rest of the way. My eternal quest for fuel efficiency is not working for me. It is not time efficient in the slightest. I'm just going to feather it forward a little bit. I think we're supposed to go until we bonk. Oh, no. Until our wheels touch that thing. I gotcha. I still wish this game had a very consistent soundtrack. It's got, um, I think too many slow moments. The reason why I complain about it so much is I'm so used to Journey. Journey had such the, such a lovely, like, dynamic soundtrack feel. Um, that whenever I play something that I would put in the same boat as Journey, I get a little bit disappointed when the sound design isn't as... masterful. Because this game is... I mean, it really scratches the same itch, don't get me wrong. Oh. Well, we hit full throttle. Unfortunately, we hit full throttle right over all of these. Just gonna leave those down there for now. Probably should have just turned up the moment I seen the uh, saw them. I should have head for the vac head, uh, went for the vacuum. I wish the activator for the vacuum was um easier to reach. Honestly. It's in such a weird arse end of the... Like, it makes sense considering its positioning, but it's such a hard thing to reach. That I almost wish there was, like, a, a control button near the, uh, the drivetrain. In fact, I actually wish I didn't have to manually, like, walk around and press all these buttons. Because um, I find it... Makes it a bit, um... bit harder to actually get some speed going. That's probably a reasonable spot. Practically wasting all the energy we just got to crest the hill as opposed to losing that. There you keep going. You 
keeps going. Come on, keep it up. A little bit more. There we go. 